Well, believe it or not, the full release of all files related to the JFK assassination has been delayed yet again, this time until 2021. The president delayed the release in the name of national security, but it raises the question, what possible national security interest could be served at this point in protecting information about an assassination that occurred 55 years ago? Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is the author of American Values. He is, of course, the nephew of the slain president. He joins us tonight. Bobby Kennedy Jr., thank you for coming on. What, what do you Thanks think is... Thanks for having me, Tucker. It's, it's such an odd... I've never done a segment on, on the assassination before, but I'm so struck by how weird this story is. The president has said, point blank, a couple of times, I'm going to release all these files. He was convinced, for some reason, not to release them. What do you imagine that reason really was? Uh, well, I share your mystification, but the, you know, when they, the stuff that's dribbling out um, is, uh, um, is generally uh, uh, things that seem rather innocuous 50 years later, but they are, it is information that tends to connect the CIA to um, to the assassination in one way or the other. I mean, the last one that they let out, what was it, in November, they let, um, they let a batch out, and that showed that Charles Cabell, who was the mayor of Dallas at the time my uncle was assassinated, was actually a CIA operative and had been a CIA operative since 1956. And then there was also some information about the automobile that showed that the window had been replaced. Um, again, information that 50 years later people should know about, people should have access to that kind of information. And it's kind of, it's bizarre that they still continue to sit on it. Do you believe that the CIA or another government agency was in any way involved in the assassination of your uncle? Well, I don't know. I don't think that that possibility has been eliminated. I mean, they, you know, the Warren Commission found that there was a single shooter, and the, the Warren Commission it had no investigators of its own. Its only investigators were FBI agents and the CIA. And then the man who really orchestrated the Warren Commission was Alan Dulles, who had been the head of the CIA and was fired by my uncle. Um, my father's first reaction on the day that John Kennedy was killed, that his brother was killed, was that the CIA must have done it. And in fact, that afternoon when I came home from school that afternoon, he was walking in the yard with John McCone, who was then the head of the CIA, and he had taken him out of the house to walk him in the yard, and he said, did our people do this? And then two hours later, he made a called to Harry Ruiz Williams, who was one of the Cuban um, Bay of Pigs guerrillas who we knew very, very well and who kind of was a figure around our house, and to Haynes Johnson, who you may know, yes. who was a, a really brilliant journalist. And he called both of them that afternoon and asked them. To, Haynes Johnson was connected with the Cubans and the CIA. And he asked him, them both if the CIA and, the, and particularly the Cuban contingent was involved. I think his thinking later evolved. Um, in 1967, when David Ferry was killed, and David Ferry was the, uh, was the pilot who was a CIA pilot, and he was also a mob pilot. And he was the subject of Jim Garrison's prosecution down in in Louisiana. When he was killed, my father, on his own initiative, my father was in the United States Senate at the time, but he called the coroner in Louisiana that night and found him at home at dinner, and he asked him, was this a, was this a murder or was it a suicide? About a week before my father died, he was asked in a, at a California community college in Los Angeles whether or not, if he became president, and whether he would reopen the investigation, and he said, yeah, that he would. A lot of people don't understand that when John Kennedy was killed, my father really lost, was attorney general. And so 
One of the defenses of the Warren Commission was, well, Bobby Kennedy was the best investigator of that era. He was like Mueller of that era. You know, he had been for 10 years, he'd been investigating the unions and the, te the Teamsters and, yes. the, and the mob. And so why wouldn't he investigate it? But the truth is that David, his brother, was killed. He lost all of the investigative capacity at the Department of Justice. He had 30,000 FBI agents who worked for him, but he never talked to, to J. Edgar Hoover again, not a single time after my uncle Jack was killed. Oh, he really had no, you know, because Hoover at that time began reporting directly to Johnson. And my father, who used to, who, who was ostensibly right. Hoover's, Hoover's boss, really lost control of the FBI and the investigative capacity of the um, of the of the of the Department of Justice, and he resigned soon afterward. I just find the whole thing remarkable. The Attorney General of the United States, later a U.S. Senator, a person in a position to have a lot of information, would suspect his own CIA, and now the documents are still being withheld by that same agency. I think it's really fascinating. The book is American Values, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. It is out, and uh, we urge you to check it out. Bobby Kennedy, thanks very much for that. I appreciate it.